why Allen? Just right? coach's decision. He's playing well. Gets an opportunity again. I like his game in uh, Tampa. Uh, did you have, you have you sat down and had a discussion with Rick yet just about how you plan to use him the rest of the way? No, not really. I mean, we, we communicate with all our players pretty well, but uh, you know, it's day to day with us. Obviously, after games and practice, how how guys feel. But you know, Al's been playing pretty well. So, is this kind of an indication about how you do plan to use him? Like, maybe not a straight. Uh, it rotation. could be. You know, it, not really. Like I said, I just kind of focus at the, the task at hand on that particular day. Can you just talk about? Um, you know, the fact that Mark is done for the season now and yeah. he won't be able to get any games in. Um, well, obviously, it's, you know, I, I guess he's probably pretty frustrated, if there's one word that I can think of. He's worked extremely hard to get back. Unfortunately, it's taken a lot of time, and, you know, the doctors are doing everything they can to make sure it's in the best interest of, of him moving forward. So, but, um, you know, it is frustrating for him. What does that mean for him, you know, next training camp, next season, just to miss a whole year without without getting in the games? Um, well, I'm sure that uh, obviously, uh, you know, he'll be in pretty good shape, one. Two, it's going <laughs> to be a situation where he's, uh, you know, he's probably going to have to play a lot of preseason games to get himself back to where he needs to be timing-wise. But he's an experienced guy. He's a great hockey player. I don't see him taking a whole lot of time. Are the World Championships still a possibility for him, Jack? I don't. You know what? I don't have any idea on that one. The World Championships. Can you go just talk about the PK and uh, Grabs and uh, Nielsen in particular? Yeah, you know what? Uh, I, we talk about our PK, and it has been pretty good. But I, I'll be honest with you, just watching the tape, they had some great chances. Before Grabs' uh, empty net goal, they, they probably should have scored a goal there. So we had some uh, some breakdowns for sure on it. But uh, your best PK is your goaltender, and I thought I made some big saves. But you know what? Special teams has been good, and it's going to continue to be good down the stretch because, uh, you know what, we, we talk about luck, health, special teams, and goaltending being part of winning, and uh, we have to have it. Is there any keys that you think, especially for those two guys, the amount of times they've converted this year on the shorthand? No. I mean, you know, Tampa's given up 15 shorthanded goals. They use five forwards quite a bit on, the, on, on their back end. And, you know, uh, if you had those guys, you'd probably use them too as a coach and, uh, and uh, give them the opportunity. But, uh, you know what, Grab's got good speed. And any time he can get loose, whether it's a chip off the wall or chase pucks down, he's got the ability to, to get loose. So um, I think that's why they're pretty successful. Uh, according to Jesse's post Alta rank stats, he's a Grabner's a, a plus 15. Just what do you attribute that to, and what does that say kind of about his game overall? Well, and I think it's a broken record, but I, I've said that if you play within a team concept and you play well defensively, it's going to lead to good offense, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's tracking the puck very well. He's getting it blocking lanes as a winger. Um, he's doing everything in the defensive zone that he has to be doing, and then obviously he's pretty creative in the offensive zone and he's finding those areas that we want him to find. Do you find him to be a little bit underestimated, I guess, defensively? Just the, that play that he made down in, uh, what was that, Florida? Yeah, it was a great track on Haley's goal there. I believe that's the one we're talking about. And and uh, you have to play in all three zones with and without the puck. You have to be able to play a 200-foot game. If you can't play a 200-foot game, uh, you can't play. And there's still some guys that are learning to do that. It's great when you have the puck, and, uh, and uh, but it's what you do when you don't have the puck. Just uh, facing Trump for the first time since you guys have waited. To... What what made him have trouble, kind of sticking <coughs> in and carving out? Uh, know, I don't know if he had like trouble. This. I mean, he was. I think he was probably in the top six or seven points at the time. Robbie's a tremendously skilled uh, skilled player, and he's going to give you that uh, that power play uh, um, strength when you need him. And, um, you know, the only thing that my discussions with Robbie here was just continue to get to the paint and go to those gritty areas and try not to stay on the perimeter so much. But Robbie's a, he's a great teammate. He's a good friend, and, uh, and we wish him the best. But, uh, you know, he's definitely got some good offensive instincts for sure. Uh, last game you got some goal scoring from not guys who, you know, just from other places than the usual. For yeah, guys. for us to be effective, our D have to activate. We've talked about it all year. Just seen on Jack the way they jump in the play. That, that's the way that we have to play, and we have to continue to play that way. It's no different than these guys right here on the back end with Hainsey and, and Bogosian and, uh, you know, uh, the guys that uh, uh, Buffalo and guys that are going to join that rush. So, um, you know, we have to make sure that, uh, that we're tracking and, uh, you know, we're disciplined having a good F3 high and, and doing the right things at the right times. Jack, have you seen a difference in the locker room since Rick has come back? Uh, you know what, Ricky's just one of those guys. Even he was around. He, he was around even when he was injured a little bit, and uh, he just loosens the guys up. He's got that personality and uh, that leadership quality that we need. We got a very young team. Obviously, if you look at the injury list and the guys that we've lost, especially on the back end, 
you know, when you look at the, those guys. Um, so to, to have him obvious in there and, and being around the guys is, is good for a hockey team. Is he breaking any pads or something today? Or what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I like what's, uh, what's Doug Wade's situation for the last you know, two and a half weeks? It's still the same. I, I don't know. I, I really don't. It's, uh, you know, Dougie basically is obviously an older guy, knows where he is in his career, knows how his body feels, something that you probably have to ask him and just kind of get, uh, you know, when the doctors feel that he's ready, then, you know, they'll let us know. Is he like having another coach out there a little bit, like another assistant? Yeah, another sarcastic guy. That <laughs> good, so can't have enough of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs>